Hey guys, it's Daros Probs here, and this is episode 16. I can't believe I'm on episode 16. Uh, of my Universal Minecraft editor. And we are doing Armor Stand. Now, a couple of people have requested this one, so why not? And I had to go and show you some other little secrets on here that maybe you don't all know about. But anyway, this is a normal Armor Stand, as you see, it's got a base plate, you know, pretty bog standard. I'm just going to go through everything you can do with armor stands, okay? So this is one that's invisible. You see there's no wood inside it. I don't know if you can see it in there properly. This one's got no base plate, you see? This one's small. This one has arms. This one has no gravity, as you can see. I'm placing a block. There's no barrier block there. That's no gravity, okay? And then this one is the position tag. Now it's just a dabbing armor stand if that's still going around <laughs> I don't really know but yeah you, you get the idea um, it's just an armor stand that's been positioned differently still cool though yeah <laughs> uh, this is a really really common thing um, I still use it a lot now this is a hologram okay I like the start one over there but he's invisible okay so that's how you do the holograms quite easy uh, the only problem with this, you can still put armor on it. There is a way of stopping it. You can put disabled slots minus one, but once you put armor on it, you can't get it off, if you know what I mean. But anyway, that's that. I'm just going to get rid of all that. And this was a random idea I had. Now, it obviously doesn't work as well because of the purple beam, but there is loads of armor stands in here, 10 in total. And they're all invisible with the armor head thing on, if that makes sense. The, you know, mob head. So it's like falling down, so it's like their heads are being cut off. <laughs> Gruesome, I mean, it's not Halloween yet, but yeah, you can just see a head falling through. But because of the purple beam, it's not really working very well. But Anyway, that was a little idea I had. Oh, it's getting night time. It better be quick. Uh, so this one here, we're going to do the example with this one. I'm just going to make his arms up in the air and show you on the PC how it's done. Um, I would try and place this, but as you can see, it's saying the message. But this is a little secret I'm not sure a lot of people know about. But with the Universal Minecraft Editor, you can add multiple of these. You see, you're only normally limited to 16. Now, like I said, there's 10 in there. There's two here. And there's a lot here, what, eight, no, seven, yeah, seven there, eight, ten, so that's 19 already, 20, and I've got all these here, and yes, they all work. So, what I'm trying to say is you can just keep putting millions and millions of armor stands if you want by editing them in. But anyway, let's get on the PC, and I'll show you how to move his arms, okay? Okay, so we've loaded up Universal Minecraft Editor, and I just want to find my save, which is under Armor Stands. Locate my player. Right, that's not the Armor Stand. Uh, thank God I know where the coordinates are. There it is. And yeah, there we go. We've got the tutorial example. I renamed that to make it easier to find which one it was. So this is how you obviously edit all the arms and stuff. So, the one that says show arms, which would be already there, every armor stand has this. It will say zero, if you set that to one, you get the arms. Same with the base plate. Straightforward, really. I've just added a custom name by clicking it, and then custom name, like that. So how do you make the arms and legs and stuff move? Now there's a compound tag at the top called pose, if you add different list tags to it, I want to add six of them, like so. so I've just copied the body and I'm going to rename all these, okay? So I have the starting of it has to be capitals, okay? So you want head, you want left arm, like that. We want right arm. We want left leg and we want right leg okay that's what you need to do for a minute 
Now in the description of the video, I've got this website, okay? Now, what is this website? This is a custom armor stand maker kind of thing for PC. But obviously this is a command for command blocks. So what I've done here is just move some things to make him look like he's star jumping if that makes sense. So this box here is normally unticked like that. So if you add show arms, it comes on. Normally that just looks like a normal armor stand, but I've modified it to make it look like that. So all you do is move these sliding bars. You see how the head's rotating around like really ridiculously. Um, yeah, all you do is move these sliding bars and that's all you have to do. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. And then once you move them, these numbers change. Look, see? That, look here. It says 306, yeah? Now if I move that, that number's changing. Pretty straightforward. I mean, you can't really go wrong here. But anyway, how do I get all this into my, you know, Universal Minecraft editor? Now, all you have to do, guys, sadly, is or what I would do is minimize it. You know, I can't really move my armor stand. I have to just move it like that. <laughs> That's the best way. But as you can see, I've got all this information here. Now, the body is staying the same, so I'm not going to change that. But if I go to head, but it says head there, and then it says all these F things here. Now that's what we need to change. So that one's 360, 30, and 2. So 360, 30, and 2. And that's, that's as easy as it is, guys. That's it. So I'm going to speed the video up, finish these, and then... Yeah, we'll get on the Xbox, yeah? And that's it, guys. So, I'm just going to save and exit, and we'll go on the Xbox. Right, let's load this up then, guys, and see my star jumping armor stand. And there he is! Let me just remove that. And that is as easy as it is, guys. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. I like, quite like that, actually. Let me just get full stuff on. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> to be honest, that looks pretty cool. I quite like that. Anyway, guys, I'm Darius Probs, and that is the end of episode 16. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope it helped you. Thanks very much.